What's going on you guys? It's your host Galadon, Clash Royale, Galadon Gaming, you know the drill. But today we're talking about more legendaries before more legendaries. And, okay, so what I'm talking about specifically is the fact that you know that the Royale team said that they were, quote, working on making legendary cards more obtainable, end quote, but then, well, they kind of went radio silent. Now, I'm assuming that that means that they're working on it hard behind the scenes, and we just have not seen the results yet, but we're going to. So in the meantime, since I don't have any information about what that could mean, I thought that I would discuss some ideas that I've heard and an idea that I had that I thought would make legendary cards more easy to obtain yet not completely devalue them. You have to think about not like flooding the market with them. After all, the legendary card is supposed to be special. It's supposed to be something unique, something harder to get, and that is understandable. But for the free-to-play players, 40,000 gold is kind of ridiculous. So, I don't know. Okay, so here's my thought. Yes, I do host a ton of tournaments on Mob Crush. I mean, thousands, hundreds of thousands of gems a month on tournaments, and the tournaments are completely dominated probably about 95% by legendary cards. Now, I do get the occasional kind viewer who wants to come in and just hang out with me and interact and chat, and that's great, who doesn't care about playing in the tournaments, and oftentimes they say they don't because they don't want to be up against a bunch of miners and princesses and lava hounds, like you see here, double lava hound, triple quadruple legendary action. I think there's like eight legendary cards in this battle. Of course, this isn't a tournament battle I'm showing, but it's just an illustration of how prevalent legendary cards are all over the place, not just in tournaments, but in ladder play. Now, when it comes to ladder play trophy pushing, I feel like it's okay that the higher level legendary cards are going to have a clear advantage. You kind of have to keep, I mean, you have to look at it from a business perspective, right? They want to keep a bunch of free-to-play players playing, so you see a lot of downloads and activity in the game, but they also need players spending money on the game, otherwise, they don't make any money and then the game disappears. So you have to be realistic when it comes to that. So my thought is this, that is, okay, let's keep legendaries the way they are for the uh, gemmers, for the regular ladder players, guys who want to push to the top of the world. It's like being a maxed out Town Hall 11 in Clash of Clans. You cannot expect to get there without either A, spending a ton of money or B, an incredible amount of time talking about hundreds if not thousands of hours of gameplay. Uh, which just shouldn't be expected in Clash Royale as of yet. The game is only a few months old. But when it comes to tournament level play, and that would be maybe compared to like Clan War in Clash of Clans, there should be an ability to play in tournaments and be competitive without having to spend money, I think, personally. So, the thought is, and this is where I see this huge division like in social media and in the game and in my clans and wherever I go, YouTube comments, okay, well, those things are kind of crazy, but... Uh, no offense, but what I was trying to say is that a lot of people, there's this camp that says, no, keep it the way it is. Legendaries should be hard to get. There's a camp that says, I don't even want to play tournaments because legendaries are so hard to get. I don't know. So here's my thought. Okay, I got derailed, but I'm coming back. I promise. Okay. For free-to-play players to unlock one legendary card, what I mean is the first Lava Hound, the first Log, the first Princess Ice Wizard, each legendary card should be easier. Beyond the very first legendary card, fine, make it incredibly impossibly hard to get. Make it super rare, you know, one one hundredth of one percent chance in a chest or 40,000 gold in the shop, that's fine. But let's make the playing field a little more level when it comes to tournaments. And so my thought was, and I posted this on Twitter, it seemed like it got a pretty good response, and here's my idea. Make the very first of each legendary card at a great discount. So if you've never unlocked a princess and the princess shows up in your shop, she is maybe 80% off. So instead of 40,000 gold, she's 8,000 gold. Now my free to play account has like maybe close to 5,000 gold saved up right now. So 40,000 seems insane. Now I do realize of course that there are free to play players that have saved $40,000. And let me tell you, props to you guys. That is dedication right there. But the vast majority of players, they don't have the time, patience, effort, whatever you want to call it, to amass 40,000 in gold as a free-to-play player to buy one legendary card. 
So let's just say that the very first, the unlocking legendary, the very first of each of the legendaries that are available in the game are at this 80% discount. It's like a special one-time fire sale for that specific legendary. And here's the other key. It unlocks in the shop at the same arena level that they unlock for you in chests, meaning you don't necessarily have to get to 3,000 trophies in order to unlock legendary cards in the shop. You start unlocking them at lower arena levels. And that way, players do have a shot to get them. Now, the other problem that I see with this is the fact that it, yes, it does devalue that first legendary. I don't know maybe how many players have saved up 40,000 and bought that first legendary card to unlock it as a free-to-play player. Would there be a way that Supercell could reimburse those players? Is it too much? To, have we gone too far now down the road that they couldn't afford to do that? Would it be a ridiculous amount to refund players? I don't know. And that's really the key is they need to figure out a way to get these legendary cards into the hands of free-to-play players without devaluing the card, without making it cheap, without making it commonplace. And so, I don't know, that was my thought. And who knows, maybe there is an algorithm out there, there's a way that uh, the Clash team could look at it and say, hey, any player that spent 40,000 gold to unlock a legendary card would get that gold refunded or get uh, 32,000 of that gold refunded. Uh, not players who are spending 40,000 gold to upgrade or get additional copies of that card, but only the very first. So the most any player would ever get refunded would be 32,000 per legendary that they unlocked in the shop. That's just my idea. Uh, maybe it's an impossibility. Maybe it is a pipe dream, uh, but it is my hope, my sincere hope that players can get more legendary cards so that the tournaments aren't as bad as I see them right now, at least as far as the complaints from players. I get a lot of complaints from players. Now, just the same, of course, I get thousands of players that come to all of my live streams and play in these tournaments and win lots of cards and have fun. But no doubt there's a lot more players out there that are not willing to participate because they don't have that legendary and they don't want to get stopped. Now, just because you don't have a legendary doesn't mean you're going to get stopped by a legendary player as well. In fact, I'll have an episode this week that shows players without any legendary cards curb stomping, just trashing players that have a whole bunch of legendaries. So it's possible. Again, it comes down to deck. It comes down to skill, the way you play the cards, the way you counter. I mean, you know, I can argue that because, you know, look at these battles that I'm winning with my level 6 account against level 8s. It just really comes down to the way you play the cards and not always the card itself. But at the same time, I will admit, legendary cards, pretty tough to defeat. And when you face one, especially as a mid-range player around levels 8, 9, 10, it is tough if you don't have any yourself. Now, here we go. My favorite Spear Goblin Spear. Get ready to end this battle. One more Spear Goblin Spear. Choop, there he goes. And I grabbed the win over the level 8. Oh, he wasn't very happy. But it happens. Sorry, Kamar. Ow. 26. But that's the way it goes. So you guys, let me know what you think about my ideas. Do they stink as usual? Or do you actually like it? Let me know down in the comments. Thumbs up the video if you want to see more legendary cards in the game for everybody. Thank you guys, as always, for watching all the way to the end of this episode. Please do hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for Daily Clash content. And of course, I hope to see all of you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. using pay to 17 dollars secret to free gins oh, i'll share it soon